Hello and welcome to a sneak preview of Cold Waters, the new real-time modern Cold War simulation by Killerfish. As you can see, you have training missions, single missions, and you have a campaign. There's also a unit reference for you to go through and look at all the different platforms in the game. As you can see, they have a very complete list of U.S. subs. Soviet subs and about 25 other ships some of the noteworthy options include speed multiplier and a difficulty option so let's just go through a single mission for the fun of it and see how it works out we're going to try the Atlantic, North Atlantic, action in North Atlantic. So the objective says I'm intercepting a supply force and I need to sink the tenders and any escorting warships if possible and not let the warships sink me. So it's offering me a skipjack attack sub early class. Tells you some of the specs for it. It has some information here about it. You click the random button and you can take your shot at just any other sub that they can provide for you. We're going to stick with this one. So accept the mission. We get our briefing. Then we go to the pregame menu. This is where you can choose how much, how close to start the game. Uh, you may want to start off right in the middle of it, or you may want to back out and start off at a safe distance to get a look at things. There's information here that tells you the conditions. And you can also tailor make your load. In this case, we have six tubes, but we only have two options two different torpedoes, Mark 16, Mark 37. I'm going to go ahead and load the Mark 37 in three of the tubes. And then I'm going to go ahead and start the mission. Here you have your 3D view window, skipjack class sub, you can change depth, and change speed, you can change course, now on this little window here you have four stations, you have your fire control, you have your damage control. You have the conditions, which will tell you if you have a thermal layer. It tells you what the depth is. And here is your signature profile. You're basically where you classify the enemy submarines and ships. Now by the hitting the tab key, you can go to the tactical map. And as you can see, my sonar team has identified one ship here they've already classified it and I'm getting a, an active sonar ping coming from this area down here you can see this is the sub my subs course speed depth this is the contact that I've designated and then this is weapon data from any designated weapon now these are surface ships so they're not shy about using their active sonar you can see that the yellow line tells me that he's pinging my direction and that there are other ships up there somewhere now you can use this to classify the submarine or surface ship that you have as a contact by looking for the right signature since we know this is a Kotlin, you can see that semi matches up there. Now my crew is already pretty confident about that. They have it listed at 95%. Now I'm going to change course and come to periscope depth to take a look at him. You can see my planes and my rudder degrees. You can see how quickly I'm changing depth. I need to slow that rate of ascent down 
I can tell you from personal experience, once you get moving in one direction pretty fast, it takes a while for the big boat to slow down and change directions. So let's get up to 45 feet, slow down to 5 knots so we don't cavitate. If we do cavitate, it looks like this. and it's not a good thing it also blinds us where we can't keep our contacts classified okay so we're at periscope depth and then some just want to get a look around look at the weather nothing wrong with getting a weather report right I did, I, I did not do that. Somebody is after me. I'll try to hold it steady at 45 feet and use the periscope. So they know I'm out here somewhere. They probably know exactly where I am because of all the noise I made. So here's the periscope view. Okay, I think it's time to go. Okay, now's a good time to show you the damage control. As you can see, I'm getting beat up pretty bad. And then there seems to be a torpedo coming my way, so now's a good time to release a noise maker. For all the good that'll do me. Man, you just make one little mistake and they're all over you. Okay, I'm gonna level out. Still hear the helicopter out there somewhere. I'm gonna release another noise maker. And now I'm gonna slow down. I don't know if that was really necessary. Oh, I've actually stopped. This is where having crew voices telling you what's happening would be really helpful. So, I've just kind of casually jumped in the middle of this battle, and as you can see, there's a lot to do. It's a lot to keep you busy. You can't just smooch around and expect to get away with it. The enemy AI, pretty good, pretty good. They're not omnipotent, but they do know how to track you and pay attention to you. Okay, it looks like I managed to get out of this without getting a hole in my boat. 
although those depth charges didn't do my subs all very much good. As you can see, I've lost contact with everything. All the uh, disruptions in the water, going to flank speed, using noise detectors. Aha! Uh -huh. Repair crews, they're doing a good job. But he's still back here somewhere. So now it's time to let him know I'm here. So, can't fire the torpedo below 100 feet. What about this one? And away it goes. We'll let, let him have one more. Oh, this one's wire guided. Sweet. Go ahead and activate the sonar right now. Because usually when you shoot a torpedo at this angle, the wire breaks. He's still here. How long those things will fly before they run out of fuel? So now they're they're attacking everything in sight behind me. I've gotten away, although it was pretty close there for a minute. I got too close, too noisy, surfaced, cavitated, did everything but use the popcorn maker, and they hit me pretty hard. But I, I was lucky. I can tell you from playing this game, you don't always get that lucky. Usually you get a torpedo and it catches you. So. It's a good example of what not to do. So that's it for this video. I think I'm going to go take a, an aspirin from all the depth charges. And give myself some time to turn around and come back and go after them again. Hope you enjoy this game as much as I did. Good hunting.